What is going down? Destruction All-Stars is at it again. My name is Mac here at the MacGyver 7 channel. For about 89% of you, you're brand new. Hit that subscription bell for more future game-related news as it rolls out from my channel. Today, we're going to be looking at Season 1, the Hot Shots, the patch that rolled out on the 5th, and what it entails. Some fun stuff is out there and some adventure returning. So let's go ahead and slide into it, shall we? So double XP this weekend seems like a XP plus XP equals all this fun stuff. They have a roadmap for as far as the first few days we're going to take a look at. For as far as you can see, the 5th going on all the way up to the 19th, we're going to have some pretty cool stuff. Some new characters, a hero vehicle, which we'll take a look at. Story mode for as far as Alba. And then you have over a hundred tiers to unlock. And in the near future, we're going to be seeing some photo modes, some sealed with a fist seems like some pretty cool story and unra unravels on top of the competitive modes which will come out in june and then going from may to july we will be seeing three new playlists on top of the situation of a story mode in the june section and as far as i can see is july and more to come but let's go ahead and look at those patch notes directly from their website they sent us over to the reddit which is pretty cool for as far as what's going to happen so the season one has begun all stars can join like mentioned before alba has now added an in-game portion for no cost on top of the added all star passes you can get the new way for the players to earn cosmetic rewards the pass contains a free tier for the premium tier uh, the premium tier can purchase for a thousand destruction points uh, seems like they word that very interestingly on top of that players can now level up the all-star pass earning season points through various methods of online play competing in multiplayer matches the seasonal challenges and the sponsor challenges by completing these missing trophies have been fixed for as far as what was happening in the after a match is competing and a check is made against the account regarding which badge you have if the trophy or the badge is missing it will be applied into your account so don't worry this should definitely be a fix that's going to roll out and work with you on top of the voice chat the re-enable for the voice comms with the ui functionality voice comms will be off by default the global voice comms settings can be changed in the options the voice comms can also be toggled in game by pressing the left side in the middle touchpad it's kind of cool actually the voice comm allows players to listen to all the voice player chats and mute the other players inside of that situation. The portion of the first phase and the rollout of the new voice comms and its functionality. So they're going to make it a lot easier for people to team up and basically say what's going down. Audio improvements for as far as added tannoy speakers, of the music effects and the air horn for the spot effects. The Breach Freddy sound has been redesigned and will now play through the padded speaker. Added a sound for the grid fall, extra life pickup, victory sh shouts from other players now play more clearly over the audio. So if people were, you know, victory shouting, it's gonna be a little bit more quiet. On top of the situation for the added sound effects for when uh, the hero vehicles is ready to be called in and the new voice lines at the start of the match. Gameplay adjusts for the game timers in all modes. Mayhem inside of the Conrad adjustments for the five minutes from the previous six minutes. For as far as the grid fall, you can see that the three minutes from the previous six minutes grid fall, now a 30 second grace period. At the start of the match, you have one temporary extra life. Rename the challenge in the series in the story mode. Same content, new name. Fixed an issue for as far as the Smash 20 score creates in the wildfire and the star objects for as far as Lupedia story mode. Well, now complete in the 20th crates is the last crate in the events. Uh, network issues come into some nice fixes for as far as the users in the new PSN accounts in the first boot were sometimes not being able to match with other existing players. Resolve the issue would sometimes interfere with successfully matching in North American and European servers and balancing for as far as the blue thing. Shredded increased cooldowns from 20 to 25 
inside the decrease the time the shred is active from five to four seconds and reduce the vehicle's health by 20 from the previous 220. Hana and the Sabri abilities when active will beat the Blue Fang Shredder ability when active. So it will slice the shredder, not shred the slicer. And image that shows off some of the newer vehicles that we can see right over here which is pretty cool but everyone if you are newer to the network you can always like share and subscribe absolutely free helps me out as a creator and if you do today who knows maybe destruction and all star will continue with more seasons and i'll keep covering it i'll see you guys and gals in the near future stay safe stay classy and i will see you there